it's Bria, and this is my first ASMR mukbang. Yeah. Um, her rental. Oh, girl. Someone hasn't been watching vlogs. <laughs> I am doing a little product review. This is the Her Black Diary sauce. Black owned business. Mm hmm. Amazing product. I was a winner of one of her giveaways before, and I didn't get a chance to do my mukbang and try the sauce. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Y'all say to Tasia. Hey, y'all. For anybody who likes spicy stuff, I definitely recommend the Herb Black Diaries. I put on the instructions, it says to dilute the spice, put lemon and butter. I did both of that and it's still spicy. Mm, it's so good. It's like you can taste. What's the word I'm looking for? Because it's not the vegetables. I don't want to say vegetables, but like you can tell she seasoned it with real things, not just crap like it was real garlic not necessarily garlic powder you know you could tell you could taste it that my girl she did that i'm proud of your girl girl that my seafood sauce girl <laughs> be love who hmm
I don't snack for a living. This is really hard to do. This is spicy. <laughs> Sheesh. Your nose ain't running yet? No, no, they ain't running, but my throat is a burning. You know, mm -hmm. if, I, if I was raspy at first. <laughs> you said you feeling a little ill? You got a little, little tingle in your throat? Her black diary has something for you, baby. Cure for COVID. Hey, now. Say now. The magic's in the sauce. Put a little extra mm -hmm. butter mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. What was that? I hear you. Mm -hmm. Now this is going to eat, by the way. Oh, take, put it back. I like my skin better. Mm -mm. There we go. Yeah, I didn't like the way my skin moved when you did that. <laughs> Are you excited for our trip? I am. You guys are going on a trip with our friends. It's the brew trip. I'm brew trip 2020. Oh, yes. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned. Good thing you're recording because I might not remember. Hello. Mm. <laughs> Brandy, this is shout out to you. She wanted me to talk about, I think it was like friendships and like talking about friendships and space and communication within friendships and stuff. So I feel like you got to be the kind of friend that knows your friends. Real friends know they friends, the kind of friends they are, how they are when they deal with certain things. So I feel like the best thing to do is learn your friends. If you don't know your friends, they ain't your friends. So, why are we hanging around strangers, you know? This is good, y'all. I got the seafood from um, VIP New Orleans Seafood in Riverdale, Georgia. Anybody from the South Side, you know. I'm a real ass, rich ass bitch from the South. Just grab who? I got broccoli. Crawfish, corn potato sausage, shrimp, crab. I think I said broccoli, but I don't know. And broccoli. $30. Hello? Can't remember how much the sauce was, but $30. You're not, I don't, you're not getting all of this at Juice Crab for no $30. Mm -hmm. It's not going down. And if you are, you need to tell me something because you got a secret that I don't know. Y'all, my body getting hot. It's like I'm getting warm on the inside. <clears throat> that sauce is definitely good. Do you like your shrimp and cocktail sauce or butter? Or do you like tartar sauce? Or do you like seafood sauce? I like cocktail sauce. And I like my seafood sauce. A little extra butter. Mm. Now that seafood sauce is good. <clears throat> I couldn't tell you what's in it because you don't put the ingredients and that's fine. I wouldn't share my secret neither, girl. Keep your secrets to yourself. Everything ain't everybody's business. Just keep just keep selling them. Mmm. Mmm. This is sauce, though, it's good. And I see somebody talking the other day about crawfish nasty. <clears throat> Ain't nothing nice but no crawfish. Like friendships. And like the communication in them and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, I, yeah. I can't remember. She said something like that to me. But I was just like, I said. 
You gotta learn your friends. You gotta know who your friends are. You gotta learn how to communicate with them. Cause not even just friends, people. Everybody different. Indeed. Everybody is different. The way a whole family can live in the same house and have different perspectives. Oh, what you? Oh, I thought you was trying to get in. You're good, ain't you? Good. Mm hmm. Go black. Her black diary. Mm hmm. Y'all follow her, please. Like that. <laughs> <coughs> what other advice you got for the people? Mind your business. Me too. If somebody want to talk to you about something, they will. If they don't, they don't want to. For whatever number of different reasons it might be. Processing. Probably over it sometimes. Sometimes you get to the point you're like, you know what? I don't even want to talk about this no more. Just because I don't even feel like breathing life into it no more. It's over with. Leave folks alone. I will leave you alone. You say you don't want to say that? I had a friend hit me up yesterday. She was like, you good? I was like, yeah. You good? She was like, yeah. Just wanted to let you know. I'm turning off my phone for like a week, so you won't hear from me until Friday. I said, okay, God, be safe. That's it. That's it. That's all. Simple. I'm here when you get back. Holla. This basement. Grew up in this basement. Mm -hmm. This among another basement, but this one here. I used to get in trouble in this one. <laughs> Cause she loud, y'all. Yeah, she loud. My daddy about to text me now, telling me she gotta go home. That's how loud she be, y'all. And if you don't know that, that's your problem at this point in the game. Like what, girl? Let me tell you what my coworker did. Y'all, let me tell y'all my coworker did. <laughs> so first of all, I think some men play too much. We gonna start there. That being said, I guess he didn't like what I said to him. Mm -hmm. trying to leave early so new manager in there told him no and i was like you know what good job new manager got here at 11 i opened today so if anybody mm -hmm. gonna leave first is me and i don't feel good today yeah no it's okay y'all okay this man imagine this is a stack of checkbooks like you know how you give people checkbooks mm -hmm. there's a stack of them i'm holding in my hand This man hits the checkbooks and smacks them to the ground. From who hand? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He's supposed to be trying. <laughs> what did you do to this man? After he slapped the truck, at that part? Well, before? <laughs> nothing. Exactly. Nothing. This man did, 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 says whatever. I don't even remember what he said, but he said something that he had out my hand on the ground. I said, and it'll be there till you pick it up. Ignorant. Girl, too ignorant. So, in an in angry rage, I walk away. Because this is on the floor in front of customers. Like, people are mm. there. So, I can't do what I want to do because then I look wrong. Right. You know? So, I go, I said, Tatiana, I'm going to cuss this nigga out. She's like, what's wrong? I storm in the liquor closet. I'm like, Whoo. Whoo. I just hear her at the time. I said, what's wrong? What did y'all do to break? What is wrong? What did he do? What did he do? <laughs> He come over there. She's like, what did you do to her? Man, are you stupid? This nigga says sometimes. 